Hi, welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, today I'd like to review maybe uh, two instances of sketch blocks. I found uh, several instances in my past experience where they came in pretty handy. So uh, on the screen I have a, um, a model of a slurry pump impeller and um, these veins uh, there's only one straight line and it's you know this one right here and the rest are all uh, a series of um, curves and radiuses so it, it'd be rather difficult to try to sketch that out so luckily I have a uh, an AutoCAD uh, drawing of this so uh, what I did is I just isolated one instance of of the arm and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this. So let's just uh, control C and I'm just going to come in here and select. So that's about it. So uh, I just copied that shape. I'm going to go back to my inventor drawing. Uh, I happen to have a blank instance here of um, just the impeller itself. So I'm going to I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to place a sketch uh, on this surface and then I'm just going to hit control V and you're going to see over here I get this little red box and uh, and click. There it is. So it's a little bit out of rotation. It's uh, not a big deal. I mean I can always just rotate my screen because I don't need uh, there we go. So um, the origin happens to be right there I know because if I start clicking on some of these uh, some of these lines uh, I'm pretty sure that this one and I can go back and I can certainly check that let me uh, if I find this radius you're going to see that one is there and the center so I, I want the inside one So let's go back um, to my sketch now. Uh, the, the one part of the blocks is that if I look at this, I mean, it comes in and everything is pretty much uh, exploded. Or it's, uh, you can move it around and that's not going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my shape and I'm going to come in. Um, under create, you're going to see they, they bury this. You can always put this up on the ribbon, but I'm going to create a block. And my create block window comes up and it's asking me to select the geometry so uh, I'm just going to come down here and select my geometry I'm going to select the insertion point and I'm going to make sure I get the right one and I want this one right there so I'm just going to come in here and I'll give it a name I'll just say um, uh, impeller and you can put a further description in if you like and I'm going to say apply and cancel. So you're going to notice two things right away. Right away this thing is now a it's solid. It's a block which which works great, great for us. And you're going to see that it added a folder over in a browser and again it, it's um, added that impeller block. I could always just grab this uh, drag it down in here and get a second one or I could right click and say um, what is it? It's um, place block and there it is so there's lots of ways to do it but um, again I'm just gonna stick with the one that I've got so what I'm gonna do is uh, on my sketch I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna choose my insertion point I'm gonna take that one and place it at my origin and there you go so it's easy as that I'm gonna finish the sketch I'm gonna go in I'm gonna extrude it and I'll just say I'll extrude it uh, 0.25 oh, there I got it and um, from here I can continue to do uh, whatever I need so I can go in and I'll put a uh, radius on this front nose and I'll make that an eighth and we'll say okay um, oh, let's catch that one back here so I'll add another one and we'll just make this uh, quarter We'll put one right back there. 
And um, what do you say? I'll add a fillet, and we'll make this. Um, And we'll put that there we go. So there you got it, and that was uh, pretty easy. Now I can certainly go on and uh, I can choose my features. I'm just going to choose everything uh, that I created um, around an axis, and let's select um, that one. And there's going to be eight. There you go. So quick and easy. Uh, certainly a lot easier than drawing one individually. Um, and it works pretty nice. So uh, I can always go in here and um, I can create a new part. So let's just um, create another part. And I can go back to my uh, slurry pump, I can right click and say copy of my new part and paste and you'll see it adds a block and inserts the impeller which I can use again and again. So there's lots of ways to use this. It's copy and paste from one part to another to copy the blocks. So that works um, pretty nice. Now the second instance, and let's just clear this up we'll say no and we'll close that now uh, the second instance I um, I needed a real odd shape so what I did is I ended up going to uh, this is uh, GrabCAD and I just did a search on GrabCAD for extrusions and I'm looking for a particular type of aluminum extrusion you can see there's there's lots of variables here and it's it works pretty nice but I think I ended up um, this one here, I settled on this one. And it's pretty close to what I want. So all I did was right click on it and you can download it. Now the nice thing about this is you're going to see that it's got, and I'll just click on it real quick. You'll see that when this comes, it's got a um, it's got a DXF file, JPEG, it's got the solid, um, SolidWorks part and that's going to help quite a bit. So what I did is I downloaded this earlier and I uh, extruded or um, put this into a, a separate part. So let me uh, go back and I'm going to open and let me see where I put this. I want to say all uh, aluminum profile. So here's the solid works part. And we're gonna open it and there it is now I got a little problem here this is great this is exactly what I'm looking for but I need mine a bit uh, quite a bit larger and the only way I'm gonna be able to do that uh, is if I go in and I uh, if I end up just uh, editing this part and that's not exactly what I want to do so you know I can do a direct edit I come in here and start pushing and pulling faces but not exactly what I want to do so the alternative to this and this works out rather well for me is I have um, the DX, DXF file that I downloaded and here we go so this works pretty nice uh, pretty much what I'm looking for what I want to do though is I want to put um, well let's, uh, let's just leave it the way it is and all I'm going to do is uh, copy it so I'll just do a control C. I'll go back to uh, Inventor. I'm going to start a brand new part. And I'm in sketch mode. I'm going to control V. And I'll put this right there. So there we go. Now, uh, again, this is not constrained, so I can tug and pull and and I'll move this stuff all over the place but not exactly what I'm looking for so uh, what I want to do is um, while I'm in sketch mode I'm just gonna draw myself uh, a center so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put a construction line from here to there and then another one from here to there 
and I'll put a point at the intersection. There we go. So I got my shape, I got my drawing, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a block. I'm going to select my geometry. I'm going to select my insertion point. And I'll make this um, profile one. A real descriptive here. And again, you can put any description you prefer in there. I'll say apply. And now I've got a shape that is completely um, constrained, or I got myself a block that's not going to fall apart. So, uh, and again, you're going to see up here, I've got my profile. There's my, there's my block if I want to drag another one in. So it works pretty nice. So the nice part about this is I can come in and uh, I can constrain this to my origin. I'll finish the sketch. I'll extrude. And let's just, uh, we'll go in both directions and I'll make this 24 inches. And there I got it. So now I've got one that I can come in here and I can control either with uh, my parameters or direct input. And this saved me a lot of time. I'd have, you know, there's no way I'm going to go in here and try to sketch this thing out uh, to get a good extrusion. And this can apply with a lot of um, complex shapes. So whether you have a, an AutoCAD, a DXF file, um, a sketch from another part, you can copy and make a block out of that sketch and use it over and over again. So here's a method that I think it works great, has the potential to save you a lot of time, and I think it's just one of those that we kind of forget to use or maybe we just didn't know it was available. So hope you enjoy it. Um, get some use out of it, save some time. Again, this is Dave Briner. Till next time.